What's going on guys? At this point, I'm sure most of you have already heard that starting tomorrow, we are officially getting the brand new rank up missions. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's totally cool. Let me explain. Basically, these new missions will grant us a total of 120 free dragon stones for getting up to rank 500, which is awesome. I absolutely love that. But at the same time, therein lies the problem. Rank 500 is a very hard rank to get to. It takes a very long time. To grind up to that point and I can assure you that most of the people watching right now are not anywhere close to 500. Look at me, I've been playing this game for almost two years fairly consistently and I'm only at rank 445 and I've done a fair bit of grinding in my day. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys the fastest method that's currently available in the game to grind up your rank as fast as possible, get to that rank 500 and pick up those sweet, sweet dragon stones. Now before I get started, let me be very clear about one thing. The stuff I talk about in this video might seem very obvious to some of you guys watching right now because it's not some kind of crazy trick or secret hack. It's a very simple tried and true method that I know works for grinding rank EXP and hopefully this will help some of you who are a little bit unsure, a little bit confused or newer players. You gotta keep in mind that there are a lot of new players that join this game every single day, especially during the holiday season or big celebrations. So if you're more of a veteran player, you've been playing for a long time, then you might wanna skip this video. But if not, then keep watching and hopefully I can help you guys out. So what you're gonna wanna do is go over to the quest mode. So hit that and go to the highest stage available, which at this point is 27.3. And if you guys aren't there yet, then now's the time. <laughs> now's the time to grind up that story mode, get those stones and get up to 27.3 and then go to the highest difficulty. As far as the team you wanna bring, it doesn't really matter too much. What I would recommend is bring a team with units that can do about a million damage consistently because that will allow you to one shot the boss at the end. So this is the team we're going with. It's a little bit overkill, but doesn't really matter for the purposes of today's showcase. So for this stage specifically, there are a lot of good things about it, guys. So first of all, it's a very, very short stage. So as you can see, there's the boss at the end and that's pretty much it. So what you wanna do is go down the middle path because that is the fastest path and also for future runs, you might also get peel-off spawns and launch spawns and they will always spawn across that path. So if you don't get a peel-off or don't get a launch, then just go with the highest number possible. And uh, we're almost done, like we're almost there. There we go, just gotta hit one more and we're at Piccolo. So Piccolo is the only boss fight in this stage. And of course, the second thing about this stage is that it gives a ton of rank EXP, especially when we have like times three, times four boosted rank EXP events, which is going on right now, luckily. So here we go. Uh, I think that Goku should be able to one shot him. Hopefully, fingers crossed. If not, then we also have Vegeta, we also have Broly, so we're good. We're good to go, but I think that the Goku will do the job. So Goku's gonna, or uh, Piccolo's gonna super me, doesn't really matter. Um, like I said, this isn't a very hard boss fight, but if you are a newer player, it might be a little bit more difficult. Um, it might take a few more hits, but overall, like, it shouldn't take you more than a minute and a half, two minutes to clear it. And as you guys will see, I think this took me about a minute to clear. So, we're just going to wait for the screen to pop up. Come on. It's loading. It's loading. There we go. Okay, so we got about... I think about 80,000 to 90,000 rank EXP in that one run. It took me a minute and 12, uh, 12 seconds. So very, very fast run. And of course, there's also the potential to get a ton of incredible gems if you get a peel off spawn or a launch spawn, which would take a little bit longer for that run, but it's totally worth it because you always need more incredible gems, guys. Trust me. So there you go. That is the stage 101 run 27.3, especially on times three rank EXP or times four rank EXP. I believe if you're on times three rank EXP events, um, before like rank 350 or something like that, I don't know the exact number, but before a certain rank, you can actually just consistently run this stage over and over again without having to use stones or replenish stamina because you get so much rank EXP that you will just keep ranking up and keep replenishing your stamina for free until, like I said, like around 350 or 400, something like that. I don't know the exact number, but yeah, guys, right now is the time to grind your rank EXP. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that the story mode will give you the most EXP per run as far as uh, like easier stages go. I think there are some Dokkan events that maybe give you more, but they also don't benefit from the boosted rank EXP event. So story mode is the way to go. 27.3 is the current stage to, to grind on. 
And of course, if future, if they update this to a quest mode in the future and we get more stages, then whatever the highest stage at that point is might be the best stage to run. Not necessarily, not necessarily because if the stage is really long, then it's really not worth it. This is just a special case because it is the highest stage and it also happens to be a very fast stage. They can clear very quickly. So every minute and a half, like minute to minute and a half, you'll be getting like 90k rank XP, which is extremely, extremely fast. And another thing to keep in mind, of course, is that whenever possible, make sure to keep up with your um, pan events. So I'm going to go over to event mode and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So growth and uh, this one, the pan secret adventure. You want to make sure that you're always doing it as soon as it becomes available. Both of these events reset every seven days, but um, if you don't do it, then it's, all, it's always going to be seven days after you clear the event initially, right? So... If you leave it for like two weeks, it's still gonna reset in seven days once you clear it, right? So make sure that every time it becomes available, every seven days, clear both of these. This one will give you 400k rank XP, and this one will give you 200k, at least on the Z hard mode. So make sure to do that. And that's pretty much it, guys. Those are the two main methods to grind rank XP. Um, the, of course, the main one is just doing 27-3 over and over and over again. It is a grind, but that is the fastest method available in the game right now. And you know your boy Tiger is going to be doing this for sure because I want to get those stones, man. I'm still, like at my current rank, I'm probably still missing out on around like 60 stones or something like that. Maybe 50? I believe at rank 450, you get 20 stones. And before that, you get... Uh, I don't know, something like 50, I don't know the exact number, but anyways, I'm missing on quite a few stones I could get for free from the new missions as well, so I'm going to be grinding, let me know if you guys are going to be grinding as well, and the stage to run is 27-3, and of course, keeping up with your pans as well, <laughs> but that's it guys, hope this video helped you, and uh, as always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content, but that's it from me, hope you all have a fantastic day, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.